Good evening, church. I have some exciting news for you. Our plan right now at Center Fork is to resume public worship services on May the 31st, on Sunday, May 31st. After listening to our governor this week and also talking to Dr. Mike Mullins this afternoon, Arkansas is still headed in the right direction for our overall numbers in the COVID-19 crisis. Now, even though we're headed in the right direction, we're still in phase one, so we will have some restrictions on our services, but we are planning to resume uh, in-person public worship services on Sunday, May 31st. There's a couple of reasons why. First is a practical reason. There are so many things that the worship team, that Sean and I, and, and since Sean and I handle all the video and, and, and the uh, editing, we have to prepare for not only our in-person worship, but also what we're going to do with our uh, recording and, and how to get that video to people. So we're going to be involving our sound techs, our deacons, and there's just a lot of details that have to take place. And so we need the week and a half to get ready not only for the service this week on the 24th, but also for a socially distanced service on the 31st. There's also a theological reason why we're waiting for the, to the 31st. Uh, we just think it's a good time because it's 50 days after Easter. Now, if you know your Bible, that's Pentecost. So we're going to resume public worship services on Sunday, May 31st, which is Pentecost Sunday. What an exciting day to gather back as a church after waiting, just like that early church did, getting to worship God together, worship Jesus, preach the gospel. And it's an opportunity for us to thank God for the opportunity to reload and reboot for the work of the Great Commission. Because as we come back together as a church, Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. He has given us his commission. The Holy Spirit has already come and empowered us. And we his church here at Center Fork. We are his witnesses. So I'm excited about May 31st and kicking off uh, public worship services again. You may be asking, what kind of service will it be? Well, we're still in phase one, so it'll be a socially distanced service uh, in our seating, also in our fellowship times before and after. Uh, we will we will have to maintain social distance. That's what the governor and the Arkansas Department of Health is asking. That means no handshaking, no hugging, no personal contact with people outside of your family group. Now, we can still speak to one another in fellowship, but we just need to remain socially distanced. We're also strongly encouraging you, strongly encouraging you to love your neighbor and wear a mask. If you don't have a mask, we will have some available if you would like one. We're not requiring a mask to enter public worship services, but we are strongly encouraging you to love your neighbor and serve your neighbor by wearing a mask. Of course, because we're in phase one, uh, there will be no child care or children's chapel available uh, because of those restrictions. So our service when we come back together on the 31st and for the few weeks after that will be a family style worship service for everyone. We'll, we'll plan the service around the idea that we're going to have kiddos all the way up uh, to, to, uh, to, to older adults, all together, worshiping together, worshiping the Lord Jesus. So everyone is welcome. Uh, parents, bring your kids. There's going to be something for everyone. Now, to one of the most important questions you may be asking, Brother Scott, how can I help? I'm so glad you asked. Listen, the first thing you can do is pray right now. As we try to work through all of these details and we try to plan the services, pray for God's wisdom and God to intervene and for Jesus to make himself known among his people. Secondly, for us to have these services and to pull this off, we need to know how many of you are planning to come. Knowing this number will help us determine where we locate the service, whether it's in the gym or in the sanctuary, and also how many services we may have to have. We have to have your help to prepare. So, We've uh, created, Sean has created a, a link on our website, www.centerforkbaptist.org. The bottom left of that homepage under forms, there's a very simple survey that you can fill out. And I'm telling you, we need you to do it right now. I, I won't even be offended if you pause the video and do it. Go to our website and look for the social distancing survey form. At that survey form, you'll fill in your name. And also, how many in your family will be attending the service? And please include yourself in that number. There's also a second survey question we really need you to answer. Depending upon how many people respond and are coming to the service, we may have to split 
into two or multiply into two groups. I don't like the word split. Let's call it multiply into two groups. And uh, so on that second survey question, indicate your preference if you would prefer the 9 a.m. worship or the 1030 worship. And that's only if we have to go to two services. Now listen to me, church. We cannot do this without your help. We cannot pull off this this kind of service without your help. So please go to our website, fill out that survey. If you're not wanting to do the survey online, you can also call Gina at the office and give her this information. You can also share all of the information I'm giving you with people that may not be online, and you can let them know that they need to call and let us know uh, that they're coming. And so I'm asking you again to do that now. We need to make these decisions really before this week is over as we enter the weekend so we can have our service together for this weekend while simultaneously planning for next week. Now let me talk to just a few of you who may be unsure. Listen, this is a, this is a once-in-a-lifetime situation, and you have to make your own decisions. You may have uh, children who are telling you what you're going to be doing or maybe giving you advice And uh, you may have a doctor who's telling you what you should do or not do. Listen, as your pastor, I'm telling you, you have to make your own decision about when it is right for you to come back to church. And uh, now I don't think you should use this as an excuse to stay away from church. If if you feel comfortable, trust the Lord. We're going to take every precaution. We'll have hand sanitizers, sanitizing stations available. We're going to make every precaution we can. But if you can't come back right now, listen, I understand We understand, and we will see you soon when you're ready. Still going to be recording our live services, um, but those recordings won't be available online till Monday or Tuesday following the live service on Sunday. Uh, Right now, we don't have the capacity in our broadband or video equipment to do an acceptable live stream at an acceptable quality, so we're still going to have to record and then upload those services. For those of you who are going to remain home, and are receiving our DVDs for our services uh, of our services, uh, you will continue to receive those and until you tell us to stop sending them. And please listen to me. If anyone has a question, just call us. Call the office. Call me. Call Sean. Email us. Uh, contact us. We are here to serve you, and we cannot wait to see you, not only online this weekend, but on Sunday, May 31st. Church, I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.